Right, morning everyone. Uh, Saturday today. Um, really amazing weather actually. A lot warmer than I actually expected. Um, out today to do some 500 meter intervals, really slow. Still letting my ankle recover. Um, don't want to take it, I don't want to push it too much to be honest. I'm just out on a uh, walk in a minute just to warm up my ankles and Achilles after I had a bit of a strain. So just done two thirds of a mile, we'll go to a mile and then I'll see how I feel. Right, morning everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel firstly. Um, this is only my second video, so I'm still getting used to talking to the camera and I still feel a bit like a weirdo, to be honest with you. Um, I'm out today for a run, but I'm gonna do 500 meter intervals um, just because I don't want to push my ankle and uh, Achilles too much because I hurt it last week or two weeks ago. So I'm going to take it really slowly um, and just try and spend some time moving. Um, I'm just on a walk in a minute just to get warmed up. Um, I've done uh, nearly one mile and I'll go to one mile mark, probably uh, stretch a bit more and then I'll start the, start the session then. Um, and that's it, I'll see you in a bit. And also just to say, it's a really, really hot day. Um, I thought it was going to be cold outside but I've come out in just a t-shirt and it's a uh, pure blue skies and uh, perfect running conditions. Um, so hopefully that will help with the run and keep my heart rate low and uh, not push myself too much. Okay guys, nearly done, uh, nearly at one mile mark. Um, I'll go up here a little bit further and then uh, I'll start and I'll bring you back maybe halfway through the session. Also, if any proper YouTubers watching this, how do you film yourself in public without looking like a weirdo? We're off. Interval one. Not going too badly. Taking it really slow, as I said. Try not to push myself too much. On to the second interval. First one went alright. Um, yeah, feeling good. Ankle's fine. Um, I'm just trying to keep the heart rate down. Like I said, not push too much. Okay, guys, about halfway through now. Feeling good. But no matter what, I just cannot keep my heart rate low. I think it's just because I'm unfit, but there we are. I'll keep trying. Um, I'm tempted to do 15 today, which would be seven and a half K running, but let me see how I feel in a couple of minutes time. Runs all finished um, really, really good actually. Um, I think I did six kilometers of running in total. Uh, and around five miles off general moving with the runs as well, with the walks as well, sorry. Um, felt really good. Ankle's not, not painful at all. Um, I think from next week I'm gonna start just um, normal running without any stopping um, and see how I feel. I'm gonna go back home now and um, do some stretching and have something to eat. But thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And please remember, if you can, to like and subscribe. Um, and it would really help me out and encourage me. Thank you. Right, that's me back home. Um, just finished stretching um, and just looking through Strava now. Um, like I said, um, 4.75 miles um, total distance, which includes the walking portions. Um, average heart rate 143. Um, again, that includes the walking. Um, when I was running, it was around 150 to 160, which um, I can't get it much lower than that, to be honest with you. And no matter how slow I go, um, it just doesn't really go low than 150 for some reason. Um, so yeah, quite happy with that. And um, if I look into the Garmin app, um, time in heart rate zones reflects the heart rate issues I've already described. Um, zone two was only eight and a half minutes, 14% of the session was in that area. Um, the biggest area was zone four, which I know is not ideal, but that's easy that's going easy for me i can't i can't get easier than that if i'm trying to run 
So I'm going by the uh, rate of perceived exertion, RPE, which for me on that run and on that session was was manageable. It wasn't taxing. It wasn't hard. I wasn't pushing myself. So I think that's the best I'm going to do, um, and I think that's the most productive approach for me. So thank you again for watching um, me drivel on. Um, this is only my second video. I'm still getting used to talking to the camera. Um, if you do like it or want to encourage me, I'd really appreciate you uh, giving it a thumbs up and maybe uh, subscribing. And if you have any comments, um, any advice, any feedback, any uh, experiences you have which might be relevant, um, feel free to share it below. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I might see you next time if I do another one of these.